Broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studios in Atlanta, it's time for Gwinnett Business Radio, spotlighting business leaders in our area. Gwinnett Business Radio is brought to you by Ferritech. Ferritech, great people, remarkable service. And hello again, everybody, and welcome to Gwinnett Business Radio here on Business Radio X. We're broadcasting from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studio. I am Mike Salmon alongside Stephen Julian. Stephen, you got photos up or something? You're looking at your phone. Well, actually, you said we're in the Subaru of Gwinnett Studios. I was looking on the Subaru of Gwinnett.com website. Did you know that Subaru of Gwinnett is a Subaru Stellar Care Award winner? You didn't know that, did you? No. I've, you see, you should go to their website more often. I, I, I do. I didn't see that, though. Well, so... Uh, I always look at the pretty cars. Well, okay. And that is that is definitely what they want you to do. But alongside that, uh, that only the most dedicated Subaru retailers earn the Subaru Stellar Care Award. It is one of the greatest honors in the eyes of their company, and only an elite group of Subaru retailers achieve this recognition each year. Those who earn the coveted Stellar Care Award demonstrate excellence in all areas of customer-focused performance, and Subaru of Gwinnett is a Subaru Stellar Care Award winner for 2016. Congratulations, Subaru of Gwinnett and Subaru of Gwinnett.com. And all the good people over there, well-deserved. All right, uh, Stephen, we have a special guest for our show today. We have another Steve in the house, another Stephen, Stefan. Right. That's right. Uh, whatever you want to call him. He'll, as, long, as long as you go to his restaurant and eat, that's he'll take it. That's exactly right. Steve Sharples is the general manager of uh, Fumi um, Hibachi Sushi and Bar. It's literally... Across the street. Across the street. Uh, Steve, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. Go ahead and pull the microphone all the okay, way to you. Gotcha. Um, you guys haven't been around very long at all, so tell us all about Fumi. Well, we did our soft open uh, last month on the 9th, and we did our grand opening on the 20th with the Chamber of Commerce and everybody coming out. Um, we gave ourselves about a month's time to really get uh, used to taking care of the public. Obviously, when you invite large groups of people, you want to make sure you great, make a great first impression. No such thing as a second first impression. So <laughs> we didn't want to advertise or get out there in the public and really get everybody out there until we were absolutely ready to show them our best face. Before we go into the restaurant and the experience people are going to uh, have when they when they walk through your doors, let's talk about Steve Sharples and, and your background. You've been in the business a long time, so they've, yeah. they've got a good man running the ship. Tell us about your background. Well, I started off in 1986, if you can believe that, bussing tables and washing dishes for $4 an hour. <laughs> so when people talk about the uh, minimum wage, it kind of is a hard discussion for me because I started off, you know, at the bottom of the rung. And I remember where I came from, but I've worked in 27 states and seven countries. Um, I've worked for about 14 different concepts, but the, seven, the last seven years as a general manager, and I've developed several different new concepts. And this was a project that I was really interested in because it was a brand new thing. We took uh, the Taki restaurant group, which there's Taki Hiram, Taki Macon, Taki Dekula, and Taki Dunwoody, and we decided we wanted to do a restaurant over here in the Duluth area because it's a primarily Asian area, and we wanted to put a high-end restaurant in because there's not very much of that in this area. Um, my owners really looked at this area as a chance to redevelop some, along with the people from Breakers. Um, and we decided that we wanted to do a showpiece. Our restaurant is, I would put it up there with anything in Buckhead, Lenox, and in Vegas for that matter. Um, our restaurant is very, very, very nice decor. It's traditional Japanese meets modern uh, flair. I mean, white leather everywhere, river stone everywhere, granite everywhere. And you can't, you normally don't see that in an area. <laughs> like this. I mean, it's a suburban restaurant that looks like something that would would work anywhere in New York City or Chicago or in Vegas. For those of our listeners who have visited Taki, um, is the difference in Fumi um, just aesthetic? Is it a different no, menu? There's, 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 a other... little, there's a little twist on the menu. It's more yeah. of an Asian flair. Um, we have some dishes that are Korean influenced. We have some dishes that are Chinese influenced. Mm. We have some dishes that are Thai influenced. The, the bar menu itself is also a little different. We carry soju, which is Korean sake. The difference is that soju is made out of rye, where sake is made out of uh, rice. And it's a big difference. I mean, it's a very strong beverage, and, and people like it. I mean, we, we carry some beers that are different because of the, the, the community. You know, we, we, we base our menu wherever we go around our demographic. And this particular restaurant... Suits everything that's in Gwinnett. I mean, you, you got something for everybody. You got uh, 
uh, hibachi, you've got sushi, you've got a full bar where we do cocktails. Um, we actually grow our own mint in the garden, so we actually do our own craft cocktails. Um, we use some of the some of the stuff. We have rosemary and oregano that we use in the kitchen straight out of our own garden, which is kind of cool. Um, all of our stuff is made fresh. We cut our own meat. Our, our uh, fish comes in on ice, never frozen, and it is hand cut by our guys. Our, our chefs are trained. Um, most of them have between 11 and 15 years experience in the business. Wow which makes a huge difference in the way that they do things. I can tell you, Stephen, I was there. I've been there twice now since they've been opened, including last night. Uh, shout out to Tony, by the way, who's our hibachi chef. He's today. awesome. It yeah. was great. Uh, he did the old squirt bottle thing with the thread in the in the yep. bottle. You've seen yep. that? Yep. And, uh, Absolutely. And my, my guest uh, freaked out for a second there, and we got her good. Uh, but, it, but he was wonderful. But what, what blows me away is, as you say, when you walk in, you feel like you're in downtown Atlanta or Chicago, New York. You even mentioned Las Vegas with the decor and everything and the size. A lot of space yeah. at, at, as well so i would think uh whatever the size of a group you can cater to a lot of folks there yeah. within the uh, establishment we can do about 500 people with the patio inclusive um the main hibachi room is probably the biggest one in atlanta we have 12 main grills um it's it's as big as the main dining room in all of our restaurants um our private hibachi area actually can hold up to 45 people and the difference between the regular hibachi area and the, and the uh, private one is the fact that the grills actually have the hood built into the bottom so when they're cooking you can actually hear yourself talk in the main hibachi with a hood. It, it rattles in your ears, and you can't hardly hear yourself think. But in the in the private hibachi, it's built into the bottom of the grill to where you can actually have a conversation. So it's great for having a private meeting. There's also an electric screen in there with a projector TV, so you can actually do business meetings. Uh, you can plug in a Blu-ray player. You can do a wireless remote. I mean, so it's great for any kind of business you'd want to have as far as uh, catering. The patio itself, we're getting ready to install a retractable awning, so you'll actually be able to sit out there anytime. And it, to me, when you walk out there, because of all the bamboo and stuff that's around, it looks like a botanical garden. It's a river stone and granite waterfall. You have a fire pit. So you can go out there anytime and have a great time. So no expenses cut. I mean, you guys, no, it, you, we're going to do it. We're going to do it the right way. Yeah, absolutely. The guys, the guys that are owners all have a really unique spin on the way that they look at the business. So... They all had a hand in, in the design. And they did a lot of the work as far as the interior stuff themselves. You know, they used an architectural firm, obviously, to do the drawings and do the design stuff because of the legality. But a lot of the stuff that you see that's decor-wise, they installed themselves, which is crazy. I'd <laughs> never, I would have never expected to see that. I mean, they worked really hard for two whole years to get this place open. We're, stock, uh, we're talking with uh, Steve Sharples. He's the general manager of the new uh, Fumi Hibachi Sushi and Bar. I know we're going to say this at the end, but I want to say it in the middle uh, for those who are listening. Uh, located at 3550 Mall Boulevard in Duluth, Georgia. Right. Um, but the reason I also bring up the address is because the joy of enjoying Fumi is not just restricted to at the location. Uh, right. Talk a little bit about your catering program as well. Yeah, we do. We do to go for anything that you have. Um, obviously, our food is pretty portable. We also have uh, catering where if you know you have a business or a or a function that you want to have food brought to you. If you give us a 24 hours notice, we'll actually put together, we need a minimum of 10 people. We'll actually bring it, set it up, and pretty much it's disposable. Once you have your dinner, you can throw it all away. Um, same pricing, we don't charge anything extra. The only thing that you have maybe is a gratuity for the person that brings it over, but that's it. Steve, let me ask this question. Um, you, you wanted to do a very authentic hibachi and sushi in an area that has a very good Asian population. Right. But in addition to that, you're also trying to reach all demographics of where you're at. So talk to me a little bit about the person who hasn't done a lot of sushi, who hasn't done a lot of hibachi, and they might be thinking, I'd like to try that, but you want to try that at the right place. I'm right. guessing Fumi is going to be the right place because of how awesome it is and how you do everything. So talk to that person who goes, this might be my foray into a, a food type that I've either haven't done in a long time or never done. Right. Well, the nice part about our menu is a lot of people are afraid of the raw element for sushi. Um, but our restaurant actually has cooked sushi. We actually have five rolls that are on the menu that are actually cooked. So if somebody's afraid of the fact that it's raw or that it's partially raw, they can do some rolls that are fully cooked. Um, our bubba gump roll, which is a shrimp roll. 
our Spider and Spider-Man roles. Your Bubba both. Gump role? Yeah, it's Hold called on. Bubba Gump. It's named right after the movie. That's then right. he said Spider and Spider-Man. You yeah. cut him off before he yeah. got even better. So let wow. him The Spider and the Spider-Man role are both uh, soft shell uh, crab that are, that are uh, deep fried. Um, we also have an angel roll that has shrimp and tuna. At, you know, I mean, there's a bunch of them that are on there that are fried or partially cooked or steamed. We also have some that have smoked fish. So for people that are that are a little freaking out about the fact that they do raw, they can have something that um, that would not scare them as much. Um, the nice part about the sushi too is the fact that it, everything's hand cut. All of our sauces are handmade in house. Um, some of our sauces we go through 30 gallons of it a week. <laughs> That'll tell you just how many people come in the door looking for specific roles. Um, all of our meat for our hibachi is cut by hand. It's hand trimmed in house. It's grade A prime stuff for everything, but the chicken, the shrimp, the scallops, the lobster. We have uh, prawn in shell. We have ribeye. We have New York strip. We have filet mignon. And our filet, we tend to use what's called Chateau Brion, which is the middle of the filet. It's like the best of the best cut that you can get. It's expensive stuff. So if you go to the grocery store and try to get it for the house, it's not the cheapest thing in the world to do. Well, that, that leads then to the other question. You're doing such a great job of describing it. Let me let you talk also to the person who's now listening and going, that all sounds great, but I don't have 200 bucks to go waste on, you know, not waste, excuse me, to spend on such a great place with a great atmosphere and a great menu. Right. Um, and, and then people are going, well, Stephen, you're exaggerating, but... Um, talk about the price. I, I've seen the menu. Yeah. Well, the nice part for us is that our owners are businessmen, but they're also family people too. Um, when we decided to put the menu together, we decided to put it in such a way that both your businessman, your single, your couple, or your family can afford it. Um, there are lunch specials where you do a thing called a bento box, which is all inclusive. It has four pieces of sushi. It has fruit for a dessert, soup salad, the protein of your choice plus vegetables all in one price um so i mean you're talking between nine and and 18 bucks for lunch which when you look at the grand scheme of things and it's all fresh cooked that's a reasonable price at dinner time even so you know there might be some high-end items on there you can do filet lobster and scallops which you can't get anywhere else for under 50 bucks for 35 dollars at our restaurant now, Fumi, of course, is the newest restaurant, but you have Ataki, which is another one. Uh, talk about the location of that one. How long has that one been around? And how does that differ from Fumi? And, and did you take some things that maybe worked or did not work at Taki to help you develop Fumi? Absolutely. Um, Taki's been around since 2004. Our first location was in Hiram. Uh, we opened the next one two years later in Macon, uh, then three years later in Dunwoody. It's at the perimeter right near... Uh, Walmart and uh, the Hobby Lobby. And then our last one that prior to Fumi opening was Dekula. Um, we're in the Kroger Shopping Plaza on 316. Um, the difference in the menu is, is obviously uh, Fumi is a little more high, higher upscale because we tried to match the menu and the, the selection with that beautiful building. Uh, not that Taki isn't beautiful. They're all different because they're all in different specific demographics. The one in Hiram is right off of Jimmy Lee Smith Parkway. It's in a very nice uh, residential area. The one in Dekula is in a shopping plaza. The one in Macon is right by a movie theater. And the one in uh, Dunwoody is right in the heart of, uh, of Ashford Dunwoody Shopping District. So they all serve a different demographic, and the menu fits what they like. Um, we've, we've tried to pair our fish there and our, and our meats and our, our different selections with who those guests are. And we do that with everything that we do. We try to take both the guest, the price, and the, the staff being able to actually sell the item to people in consideration before we ever do anything. So can you uh, help this um, <clears throat> hopelessly white suburban man, bald man, uh, learn a little bit uh, of a different language? Um, what does Fumi mean? And, and is there also significance to the name Taki since you're talking about those restaurants as well? Well, Fumi means blessed of heaven. It's a, it's a Japanese word, obviously, and so is Taki. Taki is great waterfall. Okay. And we kind of paired that together with the design at, at Fumi. I mean, we have a huge waterfall that was handmade at the premise. And each one of the restaurants has a water element somewhere in the building. Um, that's the kind of linkage between all of them. Uh, we, we try to kind of look at the Asian and Japanese perspective when it comes to, you know, when you walk in, they call it feng shui. Mm -hmm. But it's energy equals, you know, life. 
and that's that's our that's our food provides nutrition of course it also provides entertainment it provides a lot of different things to people so you're not just paying for the food you're paying for an experience every time somebody comes into our restaurant our goal is to make it so special that they want to come back often i have some guys both at fumi there's a gentleman named omar and shout out to atlanta toyota for that um who comes in probably four times a week um i have a gentleman named harvey bear he has his own it firm over at taki He's been coming there since the grand opening, and he sometimes will come in for his clients at lunch, and then he'll bring his family at night. Hmm. He likes our sushi so much. And he's a diabetic, so he has a special diet, and our food can accommodate that. I'm diabetic as well. I was recently diagnosed. But it. the nice part is, no matter what you do, if you're a vegetarian, if you're an extreme carnivore, if you're somewhere in between, there's something for everybody. I, see, I'm fairly simplistic. I When I heard Fumi meant blessed of heaven, I thought it's what you want to say when you bite into the food. Absolutely. You know, this is yeah. absolutely blessed. To have it. <laughs> and then you look around and go, oh, this is too. So, yeah, because you're you, you not only a lot of people don't understand. And, you know, it's 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 almost simplistic to say it, but better than 90 percent of your experience is visual. Yeah. So when you you know, that 10 percent is when you dig in and you, you taste it, but you're smelling it, you're looking at it. And where you're sitting, you know, I mean, when you when you go into a restaurant and you see a place that's not organized, it's dirty, it takes away from your experience. But when you walk into a place like ours that's so pretty, it sets your palate up for, wow, this is going to be really something great. And then when they have that great experience and then you have a server that smiles at you and laughs with you and sings for you on your birthday, it makes it all the more special. And people remember that. They remember experiences that are so different than anything they've ever had. I mean... There's a there's a million hibachi places out there, but our difference is our people, and our and our quality, our focus on what we do, and we do that every single day. We try to we try to you know, I believe that there's no such thing as a spare guest. A lot of people in this business have forgotten that. They chose to come into my restaurant today. They chose to vote for our business with their dollars. If we mess up. They're probably not going to come back and they tell everybody else we're terrible as well. But even if we make a mistake, if we make up for it before they leave, they're going to give us another chance. And that is what I focus on. I focus on it with my people. I focus on it with my owners. I tell them, you know, what's going on. I focus on it with my fellow managers. Those guys know my expectation. We are here to serve the public. And there's no such thing as um, not taking care of somebody, you know. I mean... Let's face it, in this business, it, there's so much competition out there. You can get food pretty much anywhere you want. What makes us special and different is the fact that we focus and remember. We remember to thank people. Every time they come in, we tell them, thank you for coming. Please come back soon. We'll see you tomorrow. My staff will say, see you tomorrow, and they'll laugh, but sometimes they'll show up the next day. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and this is not a shameless plug because you're here, but, I mean, I've been to a lot of hibachis and, and, and restaurants uh, similar to Fumi, and not only is it the, the, one of the nicest ones I've ever been to, and so I, I applaud you for that, but but the, the service, we had a manager come by uh, near the end of our meal checking on us, and it seemed sincere right, with a smile on his face, not like uh, I have to go and you know make sure everything was fine. Um, I mean, just – from, from from walking in to walking out, a great experience. And, again, I can't get over the filet mignon. I mean, it was the best I've ever had at any place. And I'm not saying that because Steven's here right now. Well, in fact, Steve advised you, if you love the filet mignon, that right. the next time you have to try the, the ribeye. ribeye. Yeah, it's great. I mean, if it's oh, better than filet, I, if you I got a rec- never... Yeah, if you got a recommendation from the GM to get We will just ribeye. broadcast from Fumi. We're just going to do our like shows it. from like Fumi. Hey, you guys I will never come over. Absolutely. I will never leave. You have the filet mignon again. I'll have the ribeye. Trey will have... Both. Both. Both, yes. <laughs> hey, you can do a combo. We do combos hey, all go. day long. I like We're that. good with right. that. We will do a lunch there one day after Extreme a show. Extreme carnivores. That's a new word. That's a new you phrase. Like that, right? I like yeah. that. Now, and, and, and you're right because uh, I had a great experience. I've been telling folks about Fumi. It, 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 again, just just the visual experience when, when you walk in, how beautiful it is. You can tell that a lot of money was, was, was spent on getting the place fixed up and also that there was a lot of thought – put into the menu and everything and you've you've talked about that so i so i guess my next question is what's next for fumi are you looking to have more fumi restaurants or where do you see uh the business in five years well the nice part is we've you know we've slowly gradually built our business around the guests you know all across atlanta um 
I know we were looking at a couple locations in the Buckhead area, um, possibly a tapas style down there where, you know, small plates, uh, more of a feature towards the bar. That's kind of the Buckhead scene right now. That's that's where everything down there is headed. Um, we're also, we have a, a partner in our business that has a restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina, and we're looking at a second location there um, up in the mountains. It's just, it's gorgeous. It, it That demographic and that design really fits that area well. Uh, our his location is in Hendersonville right now, but we're looking at Asheville near where the where the uh, Built craft more? breweries near where the craft breweries okay. at that that bar district because that would fit what we do perfectly. I mean, there's there's a pretty decent Asian community there as well. Um, there's a lot of people that drive from there into Charlotte, so uh, we're looking or into Asheville. So we're looking at you know several different locations. Our our, our owners are always looking for investors, i.e., people that are interested in the business. But the, the overriding thing that we do as a business, no matter whether you work as a busser or you work as a manager or you're one of the owners, is the passion for the business. If you're not passionate about what you do and you're not passionate about service and, and food, you're not a part of our organization. We take our time when we hire people. We train them right just to make sure that they do what we ask them to do. And when you come in, you can expect a lot from us. You know, not that I'm saying we ever make a mis- we don't make a mistake. We're human. But... When we do make a mistake, we make up for it. And I guarantee you, you're not going to leave my restaurant mad about anything. I will not <laughs> let that happen. Well, on behalf of uh, all Guanetians and, and folks that live up in this area, including Stephen and myself, that, that's a word, Guanetians. I yeah. What? Well, okay. Calm down, Mike. You made a face. <laughs> but on, on behalf to of make uh, banter with Trey back and forth. Good heavens. We're only doing banter with Steve here. Oh, he's sorry. our he's our special okay. guest. Yes. Uh, but uh, you know, thank you for for opening this type of restaurant in our area because I don't you know I, again I've been to the other hibachis in the area, right. but one this is exquisite that you feel like you're in a a major city. I feel like you know I don't have to, I don't have to drive to downtown atlanta to get the, the the experience that i got at fumi so thank you for opening up uh, the restaurant uh again go ahead and give your location and uh, maybe the website or any, any other contact information you want to share with our listeners great um our website is fumiatl.com um it's a beautiful website it's uh interactive we actually have a virtual tour on the website where you can actually see the restaurant um we had google 360 come in and do a a nice uh, visual presentation so you can actually see the entire restaurant before you come in. Um, we also, uh, our, our address is 3550 Mall Boulevard. Uh, it's right off of Pleasant Hill. It's between Pleasant Hill and Satellite Boulevard, right across from the Olive Garden and right across from Wild Bills. Um, we're a block away from Breakers, so that, that entire block there. Um, our menu is, is sushi, uh, fresh sushi, hibachi, and we have a full bar available as well. We do wine, we do sake, we do craft cocktails, we do a decent beer selection as well. So you have anything available you want. Um, we do do parties, we do do catering, we do do um, reservations. We actually use open tables so you can actually get, uh, when you make a reservation, you can actually get points at open table to, to earn free dining. I think every time you do seven reservations on open table, I give you a free one. So definitely like to do that. Um, we also have a kids menu available, so you know for those that have young children, they can come out and have a kids portion. Um, we also cater to senior citizens, you know, for smaller plates. We do a military discount. We do discounts for businesses based on their service, as far as you know the number of people that come out. So, and we have a VIP program for people that use our restaurants frequently. Every time you know you, if you come in three times in a week, you're going to get a VIP card from me saying thank you for your business. So we like to reward loyalty as well, not just a. We're not just about making money. Obviously, that is important, but we also want to see your face often. <laughs> and the phone number is 770 That's right. And uh, you can always contact me directly. My, my email address is stevesharple674 at gmail.com in case you have any questions or concerns. And I'll be more than glad to book as many people as you want to bring to our restaurant. If you want to come every day, we're, <laughs> the only day we're closed is Thanksgiving. So. And, and I said earlier that I'm a simple man, so FumiATL.com, Fumi is F-U-M-I. Yes, and that means blessed of heaven again. We, I like we it. feel very blessed to be in this area and very blessed to be in business. So, Steve Sharples, uh, well done. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Again, uh, the restaurant Fumi, Hibachi, Sushi, and Bar here on uh, Gwinnett Business Radio. Um, some business yeah. we got to take care of before we go absolutely mike you're not going to yell at me are you well it depends on how i do on this right just don't make faces at me my, 
I'm very sensitive today. You are a little bit. I guess it's in honor of Dwight Howard signing. Mike, uh, Ferratech is your one source for all toner supplies, printers, copiers, and computers. Whether you need service or repair on your hardware or you're looking to find the best price and quality on toner supplies, Ferratech has a skilled and knowledgeable team to help you and your company. Contact them today and see how they can help you. They're waiting for your call, 770-582-1188. Or you can go to ferratech.com, F-A-R-R-A-T-E-C-H.com. And I'm proud to announce that uh, Maria and the folks at Ferratech are also underwriting our house show now at North Fulton Fantastic. Business Radio when, X Studio. You want me to come over there and read it, or John will do a good job reading it? Over yeah, there, right? John does a great job. You both do great jobs. Oh, thanks. All right, uh, I'll, I'll treat you both to lunch at Fumi. Done. All right. You heard it here. Mark the tape. Trey, yeah, and Trey's in too. Okay, quick reminder that you can enjoy this program or any of our other Gwinnett Business Radio programs anytime, day or night, 24-7, by visiting GwinnettBusinessRadioX.com. You can also watch it uh, the show on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're on uh, SoundCloud, and, and I met with our marketing company the other day, and we're about like 12 other social media platforms. Our shows are all over the place, so uh, you can check them out. Um, like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, and uh, just, uh, you know, enjoy the programs here on Business Radio X. Final words, Stephen, before yeah. I say goodbye? Yeah, when you had a great experience at Fumi, um, don't think that they came, the manager came over and checked because you're a star on 12 social media platforms. It's because they, they're that good of a restaurant. So, yes, I would come over and check on you because you're a, a big social media star. I'm now a VIP. Yeah, I, I have a VIP that. card. I see so, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so thank you very much for that, Stephen. Um, all right, until next time, for Stephen Julian and Trey Odom, I'm Mike Salmon. We'll see you next time right here on Gwinnett Business Radio. Uh, uh, uh.